All right, guys. So I need a mouse and a keyboard, and uh, so we could put the system up. And uh, I don't have a window yet, like window installed yet. But I have a Yosemite 10.10.4 10 in it. So I think I don't know. Maybe that's the first video in YouTube. You guys will see Dell XPS with uh, Hackintosh Yosemite 10.10.4. 10 I don't know, but you know. I'm the guy, right? You guys gotta follow me. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure uh, you guys follow me in Twitter, Instagram. My Twitter, uh, not sunny seven. Instagram, same thing, not sunny seven. Or you could just write sunny space not. And make sure you guys follow me, Google Plus. And uh, let's go get a keyboard and a keyboard and a mouse. Ooh. Yeah, it's a mess, guys. Okay, we could use uh, this little keyboard right here and a mouse. I want to open this one. This little mouse should do it. I'm telling you, my room is just. Mess, mess, and uh, it's not messy right now, but well, that's my son playground, so he's sleeping right now. That's why you know I'm sitting here. If he was up, forget it, not doing nothing. All right, so let's connect. Let's connect. All right, first thing first, we'll go with the power and the power cable ready. Right, poor cable. Um, and I have the BGA, so I'll just go with the HDMI I have here and connect the. Now, guys, I just want to confirm a uh, gigabyte, gigabyte of uh, H81M dash H is a definitely a great mother for for motherboard for hack and touch users if you guys are looking to go with the hack and touch for like a cheap cheap deal and now a lot of you might be saying oh how come uh, the 4170 comes with the intel hd graphic 4400 it's always ways to go around okay so you don't have to go pick up a 4330 or 4360 or 4370 and spend a lot of money um, you could pick up a 4170 4160 and it will definitely work Okay, I'll show you guys. Wait. All right, we're gonna put the system. Ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. I have one hand. I need help. Sorry, guys. Can can I can pull this up? Okay, don't mind my TV, cause my other computer. You know, I have like wiring all tucked and stuff, and I'm not feeling like to pull everything out. So I have this spare TV sitting here. It's like so old, antique, but uh, I'm gonna use this to just test it. Okay, so here's the mouse, wireless mouse. Put it right there. Oh, TV plug. All right, here we go. Okay, now, first thing first, I wanna show you guys something cool. Okay, now, as you can see, Dell XPS come with M ATX motherboard. So it's come with a micro ATX motherboard, as you can see. Okay, not ITX, not ATX. It comes with a M ATX, micro ATX motherboard. Okay. You could install any M ATX motherboard in your Dell XPS 8700. You could just buy an M ATX motherboard, install it. Even you could get a uh, uh, ITX motherboard and install it. I prefer a M ATX, so it kind of looks good, you know, it's full in there. So, just a quick tip. 
All right, the power supply, as you guys know, is a stack for 460 watt power supply. Uh, with this power supply, you could go up to 970. And if you go anything more than 970, make sure you upgrade your power supply to at least 650. Then you could go with 980, 980 Ti or Titan X. But with this power supply, I wouldn't go more than a 970. All right, so it's time to, okay. Last thing I want to show you guys. I don't know if I could show you. Okay. As you can see here. So that's the stock uh, Dell XPS 8700 uh, front panel uh, little plug. Okay. I had to pull this wire out. And just. Uh, I don't know if you, could, if you guys could see. As you can see here, I pull those out and just, you know, push them in there, you know, the power switch uh, wiring and all this, so, okay. If you guys, if you guys want, I could make a separate video uh, just, just on that, how to use a Dell XPS case and install different motherboard and how to do all the wirings and stuff. Um, the front, because this motherboard don't come with the um, USB 3.0. So that's why the front uh, to his uh, USB 3.0 is not gonna work. But the card reader works, this USB thing works, even the light turns on here. Uh, I'll show you guys. As you can see, the light turned on. All right. So everything working, as you can see. It's the Mac. Just put right up. Yeah, guys. Now, I never tried with my Dell XPS 8700, the Dell motherboard, Hackintosh, but uh, this is a different gigabyte motherboard. So, really, this motherboard is a really like cheap motherboard. You could pick up for like, like I say, $40, $50. Uh, eBay, I saw this motherboard for $39. Oh, still booting up. It takes some time booting up because of uh, the hard drive I have in there. So, mind you guys. Okay. This thing running the latest 10.10.4 Yosemite. Okay. So, just to prove you guys. Dial XPS 8700. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick. can see guys all right and if you close this and uh, graphic perfect no flickering nothing browser open perfect I don't have the internet connected so I can't show you anything as you can see I don't have the internet cable here but the speakers are working I don't have a speaker here, but as you can see, the sound thing is there. So basically, it's everything working flawlessly. Okay, I'll show you guys back. Uh, okay, 64. And now, you can see the spec. So as you can see, I have an Intel Core i7 i3-4170 CPU at 3.7 GHz, okay, 16 GB of 1600 DDR3 RAMs, Mac OS X 10.10.4, so that's the Yosemite 10.10.4, the latest version, alright. And uh, we'll just run a quick Geekbench. 
So, I let this thing run the gig bench. So, I don't know, let me know what do you guys think, you know, because he didn't want to spend a lot of money just fixing his XPS. Obviously, later on, he want to build his own PC and a custom build, you know, with the water cooling and all this. So, that's what he was telling me. He just need this one for his school and um, his budget is like on 250 whatever. So, I kind of hooked him up and uh, for, I think came out perfect, you know. He could, you know, have window in it. Hackintosh, you know, Yosemite, whatever, and um, I think he got a great deal. And I personally think this computer have more option right now. You could do a lot of stuff. Yes, we don't have an M.2 here or the Wi-Fi. We could install a Wi-Fi and an M.2. If you want, you could install like a PCI, you know, SSD and stuff. So not really losing anything crazy out of it, but we are getting, you know, we still have 3.0 just, you know, right in the back, not here. USB 3.0. I have two of them there. I don't know if you guys can see those uh, two blue ones. But other than that, guys, I think this thing is running flawlessly. So to get the score. Now, I think this is beautiful. Okay. So the single score we got uh, 3,717, and the multi core we got 8,053. Okay, guys, and uh, I'm just gonna roll it down. Okay, so let me know what you guys think if you have any question. And like I said, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will help a lot of video, a lot of guides on you know how to build a custom PC, hack and touch, and uh, all this thing. Make sure you subscribe to my, uh, oh, sorry, make sure you follow me in Instagram and uh, Twitter because I do put out a lot of, uh, you know, picture of my upcoming uh, videos. Like, you know, I'll put pictures of what I'm working on. And you guys could ask me questions there in Instagram and uh, Twitter. And uh, just ask me in Twitter because it's, it's kind of easier for me to respond in Twitter. Or you could leave comment here and I, you know, I'll answer you here. So let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you guys think of my setup here. And that should be it, guys. Peace.